This morning, New Jersey's longtime Democratic Senator Robert Menendez, the picture right there, has been hit with more federal charges, accusing him now of helping the country of Qatar secure deals with the United States in exchange for valuable gifts that Mr. Menendez got, like a $24,000 watch. It's the second Gulf state Menendez is accused of helping. He already faces corruption and bribery charges for allegedly using his position to help the country of Egypt. Our next guest says he is unfit to serve and is now currently running to take his seat. Mendham, New Jersey Republican Mayor Christine Serrano Glasner joins us live. Good morning, you, Mayor. Good morning, Steve. How are you? Uh, you know what? I, I'm a little surprised. I, I figured, you know, okay, they've got the, sounds like the feds got the goods on them regarding Egypt and now Qatar too. And, and one of the guys is allegedly, one of the people he was uh, apparently trying to help uh, sent him a, that catalog and said, which one do you like? Crazy! It's, it's troubling, but not surprising, right? I mean, this is actually bigger than Gold Bar Bob Menendez. Gold Bar Bob. This, well, that's, that's, that's my name for him. This goes into the very heart of democratic politics, right? He has been, uh, in some cases, it's been perpetrated by Democrats, mm -hmm. and he's been enabled. If you even look at 2018, Last he, time he got in trouble, corruption. Last time he got in trouble, right? Look at all of the Democrats that came out financially supporting him. Even Governor Murphy's wife, Tammy Murphy, gave him thousands of dollars. People gave him lots of money towards his legal defense fund then. So people have continued mm -hmm. to support this kind of behavior. And it's not what New Jersey deserves. And it's not what we need to look, look at in 2024. We need to return integrity to this seat. Mm -hmm. it, you know, one of the other interesting things that I noticed was, so here you have the chair of the Foreign Relations Committee, right. supposedly taking bribes right. from Qatar. And who, what country has been not only hosting, but protecting the leadership of Hamas, a terrorist organization, Qatar. I mean, this is a very interesting web that needs to be unwoven. We need to continue to see this in the news, right? Right. I mean, it, it, you, speaking of a web, you just mentioned Tammy Murphy, who is the first lady of the state we live in, New Jersey. Uh, she's the wife of uh, Phil Murphy, the governor, and she is running for the same seat you are. Essentially, she's running for Senate. And she has supported him throughout the she's years. She's been supporting Menendez, right? and now she wants his job. Now she wants his job, right? Because it's that continuation of a power grab by the Democrats. This is about power for them. People seem to forget, which is part of why I say we need to return integrity to this seat in 2024. This is a job, it's a public service job, serving the public, not self-service, which is what he's done, which is what candidates want to continue to do. I have been in service my whole life. As a mom and a mayor, mm -hmm. I understand what service is. Right. I know what public service is, and I want to continue that for people. I want to continue that for the people of New Jersey and not have the power go to elected officials and elitists. The power needs to be returned to the people. That's my goal. All right. Uh, we've got a statement from uh, Senator Menendez essentially says uh, he didn't do anything wrong. All right. Uh, gov <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Christine Serrano Glasner, perhaps the next senator from the great state of New Jersey. Thank you, Mayor. I'm working towards it. You are indeed. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.